We've just learned six of the 13 injured remain hospitalized. The parents of the alleged shooter also releasing a statement tonight saying they are, quote, as shocked and confused as anyone else by these events. Santa Fe, Texas here is a city in mourning tonight. The shooting at the high school took just minutes, but the grieving is just getting started at vigils and services all weekend long. And tonight we are learning more about the heroes who saved lives and about those that were lost. ABC's Marcus Moore also here in Santa Fe tonight. Students with their backpacks, wiping away tears, returning to Santa Fe High School one day after that deadly shooting to recover the belongings they left behind in that frightening scramble to safety. I feel like it's just a big nightmare I can't wake up from. A nightmare 14-year-old Liberty Wheeler witnessed firsthand, hearing five shots as she walked near the art room where the gunman's rampage started and cowering for cover. In that time, she lost a friend, Angelique Ramirez. Angelique, she was a very funny person. And she was very loved. Chris Stone, Aaron McLeod, Kimberly Vaughn, Shauna Fisher, and Sabika Sheikh, an exchange student from Pakistan, among the eight students killed. Cynthia Tisdell and Glinda Ann Perkins, two teachers being remembered fondly tonight. And as Santa Fe rallies around the families who lost loved ones, they are also praying for those still hospitalized, like the school police officer who remains in stable but critical condition. He ran toward danger. He, in knowing that it was going to be a, uh, could be a problem, and it was, he got shot as a result of it. So he's a, he's a hero in my book. An outpouring of support coming from all corners of the country. NFL player J.J. Watt of the Houston Texans offering to pay for all of the funerals set to begin in the coming days. And in California, young people staging a die-in to combat school gun violence. We need to figure out how to keep our kids safe. Back in Texas, as the town begins to grieve the lost, the parents of the survivors, like Liberty, struggling to comprehend it all. My daughter was able to get out. Um, and I can't imagine what any of those parents are feeling right now. And my heart goes out to them. Such an emotional moment right there with that mother. Marcus Moore joins me now here in Texas. Marcus, various agencies pouring now into Santa Fe to help all the families, especially those students. Uh, that's right, Tom. Counselors have been called here to help the families and their students. And um, also the school, as you know, will be closed at least for the next two days. And I talked to one student who told me she's eager to come back to this place so she can be around her friends. Certainly it'll be a, a long recovery for them. Such a tough moment. We're seeing people huddle together, hugging and crying throughout the city. All right, Marcus, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.